Welcome back to Berlin's Olympic Stadium. Bob Varsha, Larry Rawson, and Lewis Johnson with you for the ISTOP, presented by Visa, ready now for one of the featured events of any international track meet, the men's mile. The world record, 344.32, held by Nordin Morsali of Algeria. The American mark, 347.69 by Steve Scott. Another big field, especially so for an event as quick as the mile. The man everybody's going to be watching, Hisham El Garouj of Morocco, who has run 344.90 this year. That is him, number two in lane two, just 22 years of age. This race worth a minimum of $85,000 if he wins it. He doesn't get the 85 if he loses. There you see number 153, that is Graham Hood, who has been a rabbit in some great races, the Canadian record holder. Daniel Coleman right there, number 157, who is a legend at the age of 21 in the world of running already. And he has a chance, along with the man in yellow, with Larios, number 162. Uh, that was Venus Niangago. Niangabo. We simply passed by here quickly with the camera. A man going for his 98 sub four minute mile at 35 years of age. There he is, number 161. Go in about five people. That is Marcus O'Sullivan from Ireland. Went to Villanova and lives outside of Philadelphia right now. He has run at the age of 35, Bob, a 3.52 mile this year. Our hat's off to him. Hisham El Garouge, the world record holder indoors at both the 1,500 meters and the mile. Look at the size of that field. 19 competitors. I can't believe they started on the turn, too, just about. Makes it pretty difficult. Steve Holman, the American, who has run very, very well here after disappointing world championships. Uh, and ran 331, uh, one of the top American times ever run. The equivalent of a 348 plus mile is in the race as well. We'll try and point him out to you. How crazy has distance running been this year? Graham Hood, we mentioned earlier, finished 13th at 1,500 meters earlier in the Golden Four at Zurich and set a new Canadian national record. And, and the equivalent of a 350 mile, I might add, 333 plus that, about 17 seconds for the 1,500 meters, and you get the full mile as the runners are tearing by right now. The pace they're trying to go by is about 54 plus, uh, and they hope to hit 150 through the first 800 meters. Robert Cabet will assume the lead. There is, there is Coleman. He wants a fast pace. They are right on 56. A little bit slow here. Uh, let's see what happens here. I think a slow pace plays into the hands of Diangabo and also El Garouche more than it does Coleman. Coleman wants a fast pace. Now the field stretching out as the Rabbits pick up the pace, knowing they were slow at the first 400. Rabbits are in first and second, and in third place, that is Daniel Coleman. In fourth, that is the stride of Hisham El Garouche right behind an all-yellow running for Larios. A European company is Venusta Niangabo in yellow from Burundi. And those are the three people probably you have to focus on. Steve Holman, the American, is back two places behind the man in yellow, Venusta Niangabo. Now the first rabbit pulls aside. El Garouge now third in line, taking over at number 159, Vincent Malakwin of Kenya. The goal, 248 plus, and that was a solid 152. Let's see if he can turn the corner. He can't slow down. If he keeps this going, they'll set it up for a great finish. They're going after Nordin Morsali's wonderful record of 327 plus. No question, Hisham El Garouj wants to be known as the fastest man in history at the mile. He was critical of his pace setters earlier this year when he came so close to Nordin Morsali's world record. The main thing is for the man in third place in his mind to win. The 22-year-old from Morocco who has the be is the best miler right now. Just missed the mile record in 344 plus uh, at the three mile in Oslo. We'll see what he can do. The world is full of great runners, and, and some of them are in this race. Coleman's 21. I'm talking about young runners. Niangabo in the yellow is just 23. El Garouche is 22. We saw Zabo earlier at 21. It just goes on. The future is great. 250, slightly slow, very difficult to get a world record here. It may turn into a tactical race. Let's see who burns first on the backstretch, Bob. There's a lot of speed up front. Young runners, as Larry mentioned. Hisham El Garouge, Daniel Coleman who has certainly had his share of glory in this outdoor season, but Garouge just blows by a man who was a threat for world records at 3,000 meters and above. And now Niungabo goes by Coleman. 
Watch him. He's tough. And let's see. He's going to get closer to El Garouge, though. Hisham El Garouge drawing away with that long, elegant stride. No loss of cadence. And now here comes Komen back to make his bid. Komen and Nunyungabo are shoulder to shoulder. Hisham El Garouge with a lead that I don't think anyone is going to get. Now all eyes will be on the clock. 345 65 he misses the world mark but Hisham El Garouge completes his golden odyssey no one has ever run faster except Nordin Morsali than the mile you simply saw there 55.3 seconds for his last 440 yards superb performance by three men who will be stars for year to come the oldest of which is just 23 isn't that amazing 345 mile, the world record, simply out by about one full second from what he accomplished here today in tonight in Berlin. The final results of the men's mile, Hisham El Garouja, Morocco, completes his golden sweep with a meet record 345-64, while Daniel Komen in second and Benoust Gabo in third become the fifth and sixth fastest performers of all time. Steve Holman of the United States finished 10th at 352.41, and Marcus O'Sullivan picked up his 98 sub-four-minute mile in ninth place.